Thank you. Uh, this is uh, Michelo Hans Ngure, Professor of Human Rights Law at the Center for Human Rights University of Pretoria. We uh, run a, a very interesting, archetypical program, the right to development and human rights in Africa. We've been running it now for the past five years. And the reason for this was that uh, in terms of the categories of human rights, we felt very strongly given Africa's condition and situation, that the right to development is a natural human right to African society. Uh, we are dealing with practical issues of poverty, serious challenges across the African continent. And we would like to elaborate the concept of human rights within the context of African society, of which uh, the right to development is a central feature of the African human rights system to try and uh, look at this concept from as far as the 1996 UN Declaration on the Right to Develop. What it means in terms of con concept, arguments around whether the right to development is a human right, who are the duty bearers, who are the beneficiaries of the right. More importantly, is the right to development legally binding on the states? globally, states in Africa, what does it mean in terms of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, adopted in 1981? A central feature of this is Article 22 of the Charter, read now with Article 19 of the Women's Protocol, or Maputo Protocol, which talks not about the right to development per se, but about the right to sustainable development. Mm. These two standards clearly make it abundantly clear that as far as Africa is concerned, the right to development is legally binding, as it is morally binding, as it is politically binding. The meaning of all this is that, obviously, people must not be selfish in the utilization of resources. They should share equitable sharing models. Those who do not have, those who, do, who, who have, should share with those who do not have. Central to this is the argument that law comes from morality. The right to development offers an excellent model for us to try and re-engineer the whole debate about equitability of society. Having the poor also have access to the basic means of subsistence and survival as any other. This is the purpose of the central feature to the right to development course that we are running. My name is Wungai Matinga. I work at the Constitutional Court and Supreme Court of Zimbabwe as a research assistant. I wanted to attend this course mainly because I did not know that development is actually a right. And the first time I heard it, I thought it was some kind of a fantasy, so to speak. So um, interacting with lecturers here and also interacting with other students who have, I have been attending the course with has um, increase my knowledge of development as a right. I've learned more about indigenous people's rights and also um, I've learned skills on how to implement the things that we have learned in my own community. I highly recommend this course to any future leader in Africa as well as anyone who would be willing to expand their knowledge on the right to development. Welcome to South Africa, welcome to Pretoria, welcome to the University of Pretoria. I'm Vincent from Belgium, I'm a researcher and lecturer at the University of Antwerp in Belgium and I'm doing research on sustainable development law. I'm now participating at the Right to Development course at the Center of Human Rights here at the University of Pretoria. 
in order to deepen my knowledge on the right to development, uh, to get a more uh, African and Southern perspective of development law. Uh, and I'm actually very, very uh, pleased that I'm being here uh, because I get a lot of different uh, perspectives from the participants from more than 20 countries uh, all over, from all over Africa. Uh, and we're working on cases, uh, more theoretical level, practical level, uh, which is a beautiful addition to my knowledge I already had. Uh, thank you very much. I can absolutely uh, recommend you to participate in this course. Uh, see you in Pretoria. Bye. My name is Wilhelmina Shakela and I'm a University of Namibia graduate. I'm currently pursuing my Master's in Extractive Industries at the University of Pretoria. I enrolled for the Right to Development in Africa short course because I wanted to understand what the right really entails. Why do we have a right to development as a human right if we have other human rights treaties and um, civil and political rights and economic and social rights that we could use when we achieve them? And my understanding was then we equally achieve the right to development. So that was my expectation, but um, I discovered otherwise in the lectures that um, uh, we've been uh, given so far and my expectations have been met. I would recommend everyone trying to understand, really comprehend what the right, right entails to really enroll for this program and um, be very enlightened. Thank you. Hi. My name is Barbara Ondivile Bebe, I'm from Zimbabwe. I work for an organization called PACT, and I'm also a PhD student here at the Center for Human Rights. I'm here to attend a short course on the right to development in Africa. Uh, what the course has done is it has enhanced my knowledge on how to claim the right to development. It has helped me to understand the meaning of the right to development within the African human rights system, as well as within the international human rights system. I would like to recommend this course to anyone who has a passion for development. And just to the center, I would like to say that it would be good if the center can take this course out there to countries like Zimbabwe and help people to understand more and more what the right to development is so that more and more citizens can begin to claim development as a right. Thank you.